Hello and welcome to Intersex Saudi Arabia. I'm here on the RSID stand with Mohammed Murad. Um, Mohammed, thank you very much for having me here today. Thank um, you for having us. It's great to be here learning more about the innovative biometric technology that, that you deploy globally um, at thousands of locations. Um, first of all, could you please help our audience to just understand how this technology boosts security and boosts convenience for your customers? So basically, as you know, biometric is a characteristics of a human being. Okay, so what we are doing is use, using your eyes and the iris part of your eyes and, and, and combine that into um, a package that allow you to look into the device mm -hmm. and identify yourself and you have to be present. Okay, it's convenient because it's from a, a from a a comfortable distance. It allows you to make sure if you are incorporating some sort of a card or other token type of technologies, you're able to link with those. So the convenience of having the integration done to your legacy systems or and future proof proofing your infrastructure and providing that security. So that is the part that our biometric solutions providing security and convenience for your existing infrastructure. Thank you. Um, we know that this technology can be deployed across many different sectors um, around the world. But which vertical sectors are rapidly deploying iris technology right now? So, um, as you know, it's a very difficult and complex question to answer because regionally, um, the, the needs for the technologies are different, okay? So, for example, in North America and other locations, we're doing, a, we are seeing a nice growth in access control and time and attendance market. Um, in Middle East, we are very focused in Central Asia um, and other developing countries. We are very focused in, in having the technology deployed in identity authentication applications. So depending on the region, we are seeing the growth in different verticals and it swings back and forth depending on what time, uh, time frames we are looking at. Absolutely, thank you. Um, and regarding access control, um, there's so much talk about access control here at Intersex Saudi Arabia when we know that it as a, as a security sector is vitally important. How important is biometric technology to access control? Well, um, as you want to beef up your security in your existing infrastructure, and you're talking about, or you see all these logos behind me, all these organizations are looking to incorporate biometric into their uh, uh, security infrastructure, okay? So as other biometrics are there, they are looking for biometrics that are going to allow them non-contact at a comfortable distance and highly secure. So that is why to, to, to really secure your infrastructure, you need to have another application beside a card or a, or a PIN number. Thank you. So it's always good to know about how important biometrics are to different, uh, different security sectors. Um, but do you have any specific products right now that are enabling this? Well, you know, we have, um, we have a deep portfolio of products, okay? <clears throat> so depending on what application our customers are looking for in a particular region. So for example, in the Middle East region, um, every, all countries are looking to secure their border mm -hmm. and they're looking for identity technologies that they can use for making sure the right people are coming into the country. So we are providing our technology to Qatar, to UAE, to uh, other GCC countries to, uh, to deploy at their, at their, deployed at their borders to make sure the people who are authorized to come in, they're, they're able to come in. Um, and the other part of our portfolio, we have been providing access control solutions to uh, government agencies, time and attendance solutions throughout the GCC to government agencies and enterprise. So uh, as per the requirement for the region is in both areas, identification and authentication of the border um, for, for their citizens or access control for government organization or enterprise. It doesn't matter, it's a gas or oil sector, or it's uh, just an office application or like a data center. Definitely, so you're, you're definitely being deployed across a wide variety of, of situations and for different businesses. Um, we know how strong business it is here for you in the GCC region, but how is the rapid deployment of iris technology in this region enabling 
other regions globally to, to increase their use of biometric technology. Yeah. So, you know, the Middle East region has been very uh, proactive about iris recognition technology since the early 2000s. And we have seen a rapid growth in the last few years, specifically after pandemic, where their focus was, hey, I would like to deploy a technology which is non-contact and far more secure than other biometrics available. And this is the, this is the platform that was used to get boost there. Um, we are focusing now uh, in Saudi Arabia, not that we are defocusing from other regions within GCC, but we are focusing on Saudi Arabia because we see in the next three to five years, there's gonna be a rapid growth of deployment in many sectors, okay? Within the government sector, within the enterprise sector, where they are going to, they're doing a huge construction and we play an important role of identifying people in the construction industry. So we see a great growth in Saudi Arabia. So our focus is going to be in the Saudi region for, for some time. Excellent. It's definitely a very exciting time to be working here in the kingdom. And like you mentioned, growth over the next five to 10 years is anticipated to be extraordinary with the Saudi vision of 2030. Um, I mean, I know that you've been very busy at this show this week already, Mohammed. Um, but why exactly is Intersect Saudi such an important show for you? Well, you know, we have been participating with Intersect in, in Dubai for a long time, and yeah. we've seen a great growth in that. And we're, we were so excited when this show came to came here because, you know, Saudi Arabia is one of the biggest countries in the region with the biggest population, and now it has the appetite for the growth. So it is very, very important for us to participate, to be able to show the consumer what we offer and how we can help them accelerate their growth. Excellent. Now, um, you know, just a final touch for, for our audience at home. Um, what does the future hold for Iris ID and how can our audience get in touch with you, Mohammed? Well, we, we believe the identification solutions uh, future is very bright, okay? And we, we are very excited to participate in lots of different tenders and, and solutions that our, our uh, solution providers are building. And we see great growth in, in that. It's a very difficult question to answer how big the growth is going to be, but we see great things coming, coming down the pike for Iris ID and for uh, Iris recognition authentication technologies. Right. So, yeah, please tell, tell our audience how they can contact you. You can reach us at our website, www.irisid.com. Or for a personal interaction, you can send us an email at info at irisid.com or at sales at irisid.com. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Mohammed. It's been a real pleasure being here on the stand and learning more about the biometric technologies that you're deploying in the region and also the, the great work that you're doing here and expanding um, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So thanks so much, Mohammed. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure being here on the stand with you and I wish you the best of luck. Great. Thank you very much.